Hiya, welcome to this video. So today we're gonna actually, so last time we talked about sample spaces, we talked about um, subsets, so events. Um, we talked about outcomes. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of that and we're gonna actually start defining what a probability is, what a chance of something occurring is. Um, and so let's basically start at the beginning. So if I have, um, if I roll a dice or whatever, inherently we're thinking of um, what are the chances of this thing happening um, compared to the whole thing happening, right? Um, and so a lot of, so probability of some subset, so let me highlight some things while we're here. So what we have is, let's kind of remind ourselves what these terminology is. So we have a finite set omega. So this, if you recall, this is going to be our sample space. Sample space. Um, and then here in uh, A, this, if you recall, is going to be an event, which is just some subset of omega. And so the probability of A happening well, inherently what we normally want is we want to see how many elements are in A and we want to divide out the number of elements in our entire sample, in our entire sample space. So this might be confusing at first. Uh, once you see an example, I think it makes a lot more sense. So let's just go, let's dive straight into an example. Um, and we're going to look at the same example that we saw in um, the last video. So we're going to roll a dice. So here, remember rolling a dice, that means we have six elements in our sample space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and that implies that my sample size is six. So I have six elements in my sample set. Uh, and so let's go one at a time and kind of see what happens. So the first one is the dice rolls a six. Um, we went over these sets, so we kind of already know what this should be. So here we know that um, our s event is represented by A is equal to the set 6, or the subset 6. So here we know, we said that the probability of A is the size of A over the size of omega. The size of A in this case is just 1. There's one element. Uh, and the size of omega is 6. And so if you think about this, it makes sense, right? Our probability of getting a six is going to be one sixth. So this logically makes sense for us. Uh, next up, let's look at um, the die. Ooh, wrong. I need the highlighter. Uh, we need that the dice. What is happening? Why is this not going? Oh, because I ended it. Um, there we go. Uh, the dice rolls an even number is our next example. Um, so if you think about the dice rolling an even number, what we're really asking, and we're going to break this down, right? What we're really asking is we want the dice to roll a 2 or a 4 or a 6. And so here we're using our language to help us, right? Or and or. So we want to take the union of these numbers. So A needs to be the union of 2, 4, and 6. And so that gives us the set 2, 4, 6. Um, so what does that give us probabilistically? Like what, uh, what is our uh, chance of rolling an even number? Well, in this case, this is A divided by omega, right? This is the definition. Our set A has, uh, let's count this. We have one, two, three elements. So we have three on top um, and six just comes from before. So done. So we have this one. Uh, that one's not too bad. Um, next up, what we have is the dice rolling a number th less than three. Uh, so this one we also had gone over beforehand. Um, so if you think about this, this is all the numbers less than three. So first we're going to start off with the number one. Uh, then we're going to add the number two, three, four, five, six are all greater than or equal to three. So here, remember this, we can think about as a set one or the set two. So this can translate into the numbers one or the number two, if we wanted. Um, well, so that gives us right away what we want, right? So the probability is just the size of A divided by the size of omega. 
So here we have 2, right? 1, 2, divided by 6. So we have a one-third chance. Okay, nice. Um, one other example before we get into the heavy-duty crazy monkey of an example. Uh, oh, it's already green. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. And here we're going to ask that the dice doesn't roll a 4. So here we saw this uh, in our previous examples, right? We saw that A has to be the entire set except for 4. And we said we can represent this in multiple ways. We can look at it as a complement, as a difference, etc. So in this case, let's see how many elements we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We want the order of A divided by the order of omega. And so we have 5 over 6. Uh, and that's it. Uh, so this next example we will do in the next uh, video because it's a little more intense. So yeah, that's it for this video.